Hi, it's Michael again, and I'm proud to be bringing you another NDIS Quick Fact, thanks to Community Living Australia. You may be wondering what evidence and documentation you'll need to provide the NDIA to prove your eligibility. You will need to provide evidence of the diagnosis of your disability that you have received from your treating doctor or specialist. Part F of the NDIS access request form and the NDIS supporting evidence form available on the NDIS website collects this information. You also need to include information about any treatments that you are receiving. If you have a condition the NDIA has already identified as resulting in permanent impairment and substantially reduced functional capacity, then you are not required to provide any further information. You can access a list the NDIA has created which states what these are by following the link now on your screen. If your condition is not on this list, then you will need to provide evidence of the impact of your condition on your life, including any impact on your mobility, communication, social interaction, learning, self-care and self-management. You can provide this information by getting your specialist or an allied health professional to complete the professional's report section in part F of the access request form or the NDIS supporting evidence form. Or alternatively, you can provide the NDIA with other written evidence from your specialist or a health professional. The evidence about your disability must be submitted with your access request when required by the NDIA in order to be deemed eligible and access the scheme. If you're not sure whether you have enough information to support your access request, or you have trouble getting the information, the NDIA may be able to help you. Call 1800 800 110 for assistance. If you'd like more information about this exciting new scheme, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or our mailing list by emailing us at ndisreadiness at claust.com.au. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please place them in the comments section below and we will endeavour to answer them for you in one of our future quick facts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next NDIS quick fact.